Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? Daily messages for all zodiac signs from Aries to the Pisces. Three cards energies. And we have April 28th. Let's see, loves. What do we got? Aries. It's you and your time. Three cards energy for you. We have a star energy, ace of swords, and the temperance. Couldn't be a better combination. You have on your side two archangels, Michael and Gabriel, and the honesty and truth. There is something here, you Aries, you really want. You are crystal clear. The thing is, yes, you are crystal clear for what you want, but very, very important is to see deeply through your dreams. Whatever signs are coming to you, you got answers. And with the patience will come to you beautifully. Whatsoever you now loves, for some of you, you are going to a period of your time when you clearly know that you need to go with the flow. In that energy that everything is sailing smoothly and come to me beautifully. So enjoy it, loves, this time. It's a very peaceful energy. And... No, whatever here you are wish or you are asking the universe, be patient because it's coming to you. As well, having this archangels, you do have guidance towards clarity, truth. As well, for some of you, if you are on a way to some some energy or somewhere. And you are not quite sure if you will make it or how you will make it or you feel a little puzzled. You are keep moving because you will get there. Okay, loves. Keep moving, loves. For some of you, Aries, if you really wanted to take action, here you are, your major arcana. If you really wanted to take action towards something you really wanted, you really wished or dream of, Slow and steady, with the flow, you will get there. Know that loves. Whatever you are trying to, to have at this time or to go forward. And we have a Taurus here. Taurus, we do have two more days till your new moon. Start putting your manifestations and write them down. Because, you know, loves, I always write my manifestations and put them out there so they can come to me. Taurus, what do we have for you? For three cards, we have a Queen of Wands, a Four of Wands, and Queen of Cups. A very passionate, steamy energy in here, you know. Fire and water make a steamy energy. But I feel here for some of you Tauruses, you might need to choose between two people. For others of you, whatever you do work-wise with a passion will lead you towards realizing that goal you have in your mind. For those of you who are really have passion and love for someone, Go after it, loves. Great time, good time. And could be same sex, doesn't really necessary to be because I, I have a very strong feminine energy. And the feminine energy very much speaks. I am allowing this to come to me at this time, in this moment. For some of you, this might be your manifestation. If you really wanted to purchase... um. A property and not only a property there is a big purchase here go ahead loves before 
we will enter to Mercury retrograde because Mercury retrograde doesn't stop you to make any decisions unless you have a very great plan. Many, many people are afraid in Mercury retrograde to do certain things which are new. And indeed, if you plan something new, make sure everything is in place and meticulously planned because if it's not you will experience indeed some setbacks so do it now loves by may 10. temperance archangel michael here which is guiding you and is telling you many of you tauruses might go through a test at this time gemini what do we got for you, loves? We have a star, two of wands, and seven of pentacles. All right, Geminis, what do you want? You might deal here with an uh, Aquarius. doesn't necessarily to be. I have fire and an earth energy. But I'm feeling here there is a decision you need to make. Either you make in the first two weeks of May or as we speak right now two weeks from now or you will wait for quite a while afterwards so you are the one to choose going after what you really want or wait a little longer but I feel here if you choose to wait a little longer will take quite a longer time seven of pentacles yes many times speaks about pentacles speaks about years so you might wait a good amount of to get whatever you had to wish for so think quick loves because it seems a beautiful energy indeed Forward movement to Cancerians. I welcome you, loves. Let's see. What do we got for you, loves? Queen of Cups. Here you are. Knight of Pentacles. And Ten of Cups. Smooth and slow sailing towards something quite beautiful. And for some of you Cancerians, you might deal here with an earth sign or another water sign. But for sure, there is slow movement. You know, many, many times speaks of slow and steady wins the race. But I feel here you now allowing to move forward into your life. Yes, slower. It's kind of whatever I am walking, I need to feel it. And I feel here, choosing this way, you are moving towards your Ten of Cups. Yes, for some of you dealing here with someone that you are taking it slow, I feel here that's the way to go. You know, many, many times people try to jump into relationships or into the things. Whatever you try, you are trying now to go forward and slow, you know the foundation is right go forward loves because you know that's yours and knight of wand is quite the opposite you will most likely know if you go slow if someone is truly committed or is truly not they are committed knight of pentacles speaks about you know commitment and consistency knight of wands speaks inconsistent in and out sporadic and you know all respect to the sagittarius as the knight of wands is that zodiac sign which i am a sagittarius son but no i'm not speaking with a specific zodiac i'm speaking that the energy what is bringing that card and that's the way loves I welcome you, Leos, for this time and this day. Let's see. The first card for you, Leos, we have a Two of Pentacles, King of Cups, and Eight of Cups. 
All right, loves. Some, some, some of you, Leo, you are dealing with a father figure. You're not quite sure what to do. Should you go forward? Should you do or whatever move you try? It's more likely feeling pointless. It's like if I doubt it, that's mean anyway, it's a lost cause. For others of you, you might deal here with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Virgo. The thing is, you are not quite sure if I will go forward, if they will be there for me, if I will be there for them. The fact is, you mostly disbelieve the things that they will progress, then will not. So... I feel here there is something here that you should know before doing anything. It's like have a clear vision of what you truly want because doubting and then feeling like, ah, no, 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 this is not truly what I really want. You deep, deep down, you know. So once you start doubting about something, that's mean something is not what's supposed to be okay so no that loves many many times we we do so so feel like five of pentacles it's like you know that there is movement forward and you need to move virgos i welcome you my loves let's see what is there for you so I will take it from here, Virgo. Look at here, your major arcana. Eight of Pentacles. And Eight of Wands. So my lovely Virgos came up your own card, but speaking here, you are looking deeply what you want to put effort, with who to put effort, what is there for me to work on. The thing is, if till now you were only by yourself and feel like I need to reflect on me, now we'll start going forward and talk with others. It's kind of the guidance inside you doesn't provide way too much. It's kind of you need some help from outside or you need guidance from outside. Something here switch with our Virgos. And the switch is quite big and awesome. Good job, Virgo. Many, many times when we feel that we can't find the answers, we better to look for them. Probably somewhere else if they are not found inside us. Or basically to see from a different perspective. There's also here a Virgo who, who plan some sort of move. Could be changing the job, changing the home, changing whatever they do right now. And looking at what else I can do. Believe it or not, in just a few weeks, you will know clearly what you're going to do. So, yes my beautiful Virgos eight of wands and I feel here you know that is coming quite quick there's something here you probably wanted to focus your energy now it's coming that time Libra I welcome you loves let's see what we got for you my loves the first card for you we have a Ten of Swords, the next one, Page of Wands, and the King of Cups. All right. Something here ended. But probably for you ended, for someone did not. You know, sometimes we are ending some connections or some situations because feels like doesn't go anywhere. Whatsoever, someone doesn't get it. Either you don't get it, but most likely I feel someone doesn't get it. 
So Libra, expect a message, a call from someone. It's not that, hey, you will answer because I, I don't see an answer. I see more like a call, a missed call or something like that. There's something here like yes coming in, but I'm not quite interested. And I feel here there is a thing here. It's not the pride, but most likely something here hurt and you just don't want to open that wound again. Just opening the message or responding to the phone and things like that. So I feel you, but you know, many, many times we need to expect this kind of things. And for some of you Libras, there is some kind of person coming forward or want to talk to you or want to engage with you. I feel here you're not interested in that person. So indeed here there's a nogging energy, but I don't see you interested. For some of you, if you get a call or you start talking with someone new after something happened very bad to you, know that person comes with intentions of love or they are looking for love and they see that in you, okay? You know, sometimes after the biggest things which hurt in our life comes the best. Don't miss those best energies. Scorpio, I welcome you, my loves. Let's see what we got for you. The first card for you, Scorpio, we have Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Sun. There's some news coming in for you, loves, but feels like you, you either don't know how to react or engage in or it's kind of how this come to me, how this could be or something. So whatever news I hear is beautiful. They are beautiful. But nine of wands here speaks like uh, the, uh, I'm not sure what to believe or I'm not sure what to think about it. So expect some great news, loves, and allow them. Go with the flow. Because, you know, sun is the happiest card in the tarot deck. And the sun speaks about a wonderful energy whatsoever. You are not quite sure. For some of you, there is an ex who contacts you and want to start something new. You are not sure should you or should you not. But I feel here, whatever it's on the way looks beautiful. Yeah. Ace of Cups. Okay, Scorpio, good energy. And now we are moving to my Sagis. Welcome, loves. Let's see what we got for you. And we are, we'll get this first card. It's, which is your card, the Sagittarian. Knight of Wands, World, and Eight of Pentacles. It's kind of the, the relaxed time, it's over. So whatever here till now, till this moment, Sagittarius, you, you could put some effort here and there. Now that is changing. It's coming a period of your time that you must to put a lot of effort. So the times when you feel like, well, I'll work just this, just to fill it up, it's, it's gone. It's ending. And there is a good period of your time that you will learn a lot, work a lot. It's kind of slow times or sporadic times at end now comes a very productive and very consistent times. Might not feel like you, but I feel here whatever is there. 
is changing with the world, a period from your life is ending, another one is starting. So, kind of a thing. And for some of you, whatever you felt it's easy might not be as easy. As you see here, this Knight of Wands go in one part and the Eight of Pentacles another. The world is right smack in the middle. The thing is, I feel here there is a period of your time that comes in that you need to be more consistent in what you do and put a hundred percent in it with all your heart. So that will change a lot of things in your life and beautifully, quite beautifully. Six of Wands, Two of Pentacles. You are the one to choose. Ah, should I do? Uh, I'm not sure. You are the one loves that can make a difference. Capricorns, I welcome you. Let's see, how is your daily energy? The first card for you loves. We have four of cups, lovers, and five of cups. All right, loves. A choice been made or a choice will be made. I feel here you, you might not as much to make this choice, but you need to. Somebody here comes probably from your past or comes forward. The thing is my Capricorns feels that the choice to refuse them is the best, but feels quite emotional. For others of you Capricorns, there is an opportunity here and you better accept it than reject it. Because choosing to reject it later on, you will have some regrets. So pay attention, loves, what you have over there. All is about choices and very much speaks what do you truly want, figure out that. And that could be very, very much in the matter of love or connection relationships. As you see here, lovers speaks about choices. Just, just reading the cards. Four of cups, five of cups makes the nine of cups a wish. Choose what you wish. So I feel here there's a Capricorn who, who might refuse something just because for whatever things they had and later might regret it. Don't stay too much in the past. Whatever here is lost, let it go. As you see here, we have three cups here, three cups here. This is past energy. The new energy is Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. You are the one to choose loves what you are will go with okay it's time to see the things from a different perspective as the hangman you are not stuck absolutely not so as the hangman it's hanging there and they see the things a little upside down see from a different perspective might help you tremendously Aquarians, time for you loves Let's see. The first card for my Aquarians, Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords, and Two of Swords. Okay. You have a lot of things to say. It's kind of you keep your silence. Either you feel like you can't or you don't want to open up this. There's something here quite hurting you. You know you need to speak up. You know you need to go and raise the awareness. For the, for the sake of peace or for whatever, you might not feel like. Either you, you say to yourself, I can't say this or I don't want to. But I feel here, deep, deep down, you know you got to speak up. Because... 
Yes, Eight of Swords and Two of Swords makes the Ten of Swords. It's it's hurting, but as well in your mind, it's spinning. So whatever you want to do, loves, think of yourself first, how you will feel. And if you feel a relief, go forward. If you feel a burden, do what you feel is right for you. Always. I feel here an Aquarius who does really want to do something. They have a hard time to find the right words or the right time or the right mindset. You are the one to decide. Two of Wands. Okay, I feel here in the next 10 days or two weeks from now, you gotta figure it out. And I feel here this could be regards a past person or a past situation. Or it could be regards a child energy or something here in that matter. And my lovely Pisceans, I absolutely love my Pisceans, you know loves. I do have two little Pisces in my home. Actually, I have three water energies and I am fire by the sun sign, by the moon sign. My Scorpio soulmate, he is a fire. My two little ones in the moon sign, they both have air. One has Aquarius, one has Gemini, and I do have Earth. So quite a little different vibe coming up. But here you are, loves. You know, even all the zodiac signs are very close to my heart. The Pisceans are a whole different stuff. Knight of Swords, loves. Look at here. Death and Knight of Cups. So something here switched. You see here, swords and cups and the death. There's something here changing. And probably for some of you, if you've been battling here between your heart and mind, it is a change. Death very much speaks about transformation and change. The Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. As in your head, as in your heart. That's a switch. So, whatever it's there, if you've been going till now, Pisces, how you've been thinking, now you go how you've been feeling, vice versa. Or, basically, if it's in my head and in my heart, I will go after it. So big changes, big things are happening within a Pisces at this time. Honor these changes because they are very, very strong and beneficial to you. For some of you, Pisces, you might deal here with an earth or with an air. I don't know why I say earth, but... I feel here earthly energy more about groundness, but air energy speaks that whoever, if you are dealing here with an air sign, something here is going to change what is about to change. For some of you even, you will end the connection with them. Either you are not into the way they act or they do things, that's a big change. For others of you, there's need a few changes between you and someone so the things to continue. If there is no changes, there is an ending. And there is an ending for good. And it doesn't feel easy. And not for you, most likely. It's for them the most hard time. So pay attention, loves. Those of you who do deal with an earth sign, I feel here it's a time for groundness or it's time to ground yourself a little more. But for others of you, we do have a whole new beginning. Could be with an old or with a whole new person. And 
Piscean, if you are meeting someone, congratulations. That's love. And I will choose a deck here for collective. Welcome. Let's see. Goodness, I always try to, to do the zodiac signs within 30 minutes, but sometimes we gotta say it all. Etsy loves. Collective, what do we got here for you? And how the things are. We have moon energy right here. And a tower. And a five of cups. All right. Uh, a quite surprise in here. It's kind of like whatever you, you've been afraid of, it's happening. Let's see. Four of cups. Two of Wands, Ten of Wands, World, Nine of Cups, Three of Cups, High Priestess, Ace of Pentacles, and Seven and Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel here someone needs to be clear for what they truly want, what they truly deserve, and do truly that energy go truly through that energy five of cups five of pentacles it's kind of surprise here is somebody here might show up to your door and might say certain things the thing is don't believe them because I feel here they want something. You are the one to decide. It's not that you want it. For some of you, you are meeting someone and they feel the perfect. But there is a big, big empty bowl inside them. So your intuition speaks very, very highly to you. Think very clearly what you really want. You might have it, but might not be in your favor. Because someone here goes forward because something here works for them or want to work for them. Might not be for you. As you see here, five of pentacles, five of cups, five of swords, five of wands is missing. And five of wands is chaos. So make sure... You not bring any chaos into your life. Or could be other people telling you, be careful. Four of Cups, Knight of Swords. It's kind of somebody here rushed back into your life, some kind of. Ten of Wands, Three of Swords, Three of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Whoever is this one, if you doubt whatever and however they're coming, they, they will be here and there, here and there. And five of swords, seven of swords, yes. There is someone here coming because it's for their own good. They might keep an eye on you, loves. Just because they feel it's great doesn't feel you got to accept. Again, it's for their own good. They think of their own, you know, blessings, kind of. Ten of Wands, Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles. For some of you, you, you might put a lot of work or you might really want to put work into this. Six of Pentacles. But might not be a give and take connection. So be careful. So whoever is this one, they, they want to bomb you with a lot of promises. Be careful. And could be someone, they left, they come with certain regrets. They want to take it a leap of faith or, you know, everything from scratch. I see very strong fire energy and air energy here. But yeah. So be very, very careful, loves. Whoever wants 
whatever they are wanting. As well, they are single, keep in mind that. Okay? They are single. So loves, I thank you so much for coming in. If you really enjoy my readings or the, the energies I am providing, please do subscribe, like, and share. And of course, I will see you next time as well. Don't forget, please, 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 to put all the timelines. I am starting the readings, the, the readings which are for monthly, not just who is coming or what is coming, but the monthly energies for May. And by the weekend, probably they will be posted. Thank you, loves. And till the next time. Namaste.